Hey, we're doing some ARCA racing right now. We're at Nashville Fairground Speedway. The old lumpy track. <laughs> Super bumpy here. Um, NASCAR's trying to get uh, this on their schedule, which is pretty cool. Um, I imagine they'd probably have to repave it, though, in addition to all the upgrades they'd have to give the facility. But, uh, it'd be really cool to have that on the Cup Series schedule. It's uh, very unique. It would be very unique, I think. <clears throat> For now, we're in the Arca car. And, uh, I feel alright. I'm doing alright. It's, uh, seems to benefit those who are patient on the throttle. And, uh,. Nice on the tires and whatnot. Hey, that was an all-time best. Picked a good time to do that. Don't think I'm going to get pulled, though, because there's some guys that are seemingly beating that with ease. <laughs> but, uh, I feel like I can be pretty consistent. It's going to be pretty scary, though, because uh, not too many people signed up, which tells me this is going to be a low strength of field, which is really scary in the Arca car, because no cautions, as I am not paying attention, I hit the wall, but um, there might be some car dodging here, accident dodging, could get pretty scary, so we're going to have to get that brake pedal ready. I think we're gonna need it for things other than the corners. Jam it. <laughs> you know it's bad when you gotta practice your braking on the straightaways. I would like to know how the car reacts though if I have to brake unexpectedly hard. At a certain point, so. Yeah, just get familiar with how the car feels. That's a good thing to do. I have to dodge a wreck, come down here. Something like that. Obviously, it wouldn't come up right in the racing surface unless I saw it was clear, but. Uh, yeah. Practiced a little bit holding a higher line for potential uh, side by side action. It's interesting, you don't have to hit the brakes as hard as you might think here, because it's pretty small. But uh, you got lots of banking, I think helps out. And uh, I think you just get some off throttle time rolling the corners. Seems to be just fine. But you definitely cannot just uh, jam on the gas pedal, because you will spin out of the corner really easy if you're not careful. So you gotta balance that. I think uh, one of the big keys for me this race is going to be making sure I'm not overdriving entry so I can be good near the end of the race as well. And uh, obviously make sure I don't spin out. <laughs> so it looks like we're about P3 right now. Got some really stiff competition around us. I think anyone within the first seven there, they probably could keep up. So obviously these are hot laps and not what your average lap during the race is going to be. So we'll take a look at that, see who's going to be around us probably. So we only got uh, about 50 seconds left to practice, or you know, qualifying quote unquote, that I turned into practice. Extra practice. I did plenty of practice. But plenty is not enough. Can't get enough. like to have been racing right before I actually get in there because I want to make it uh, a smooth transition feel like I'm uh, in the zone still when I start the race appreciate the flag man <laughs> waving the checkered flag reminding me every time like hey get off the track we have other people that want to qualify 
be really funny if this uh, if someone did this in real life. Like they're yelling at him, get off the track. And they're just still practicing out here. They're like, no, just another lap. I need, I need to work on my turn two. Exit. <laughs> but uh, they'll officially kick us out. Eventually they just shoot some lasers at you and vaporize you off the course, I guess. Not P3, that's good, uh, I think. I think I'll want to be on the inside. I think most of all, I want to not run into crashing cars. So we're going to go ahead and start with session last lap up because we're not going to be trying to hit fast laps at any point. We are going to try to survive and uh, be consistent. Well, we got uh, some flames. P2. They'll make them a little faster. <laughs> That's typically how it works. I uh, got Kevin Harvick behind us, the old good wrench, that like silver and black scheme going on. The number six. Nice uh, day here in Nashville, Tennessee. They say, uh, Nashville Fairgrounds, unlike uh, Nashville Super Speedway, Nashville Fairgrounds is actually pretty close to the the central heart of uh, Nashville. From here, I'm just seeing trees, but... Oh, yeah, it looks like maybe they got some stuff over there. I never really just looked around the rock. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Can't see much out of the window. But uh, they do a pretty good job making this as... Uh, visually accurate as they can. Lots the telephone lines. But, uh, we should be underway here pretty soon. I think uh, just about everyone's probably gridded up by now. There we go. It's a pretty long race for Arca actually. 60 laps here. So a little, it feels like, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like it's a little longer. And some of the other ARCA events. There we go. I imagine we'll get two laps to uh, get ready here. Oh, that's a Lightning McQueen cars <laughs> scheme. That's not just flames. It's Rusty's. Guy in front of us has kind of just got like a black car bumper thing going on. Can't really see what else they have on the side at the moment. Just says eye racing. Boring. I've got some dominoes to deliver. <laughs> Someone's disconnecting before we even start. Wonder what happened there. But, uh, let me stop being scatterbrained and get ready to focus on this start here. to get a good jump. I don't think first gear is going to be what we want. I think second gear is going to be ideal. I think sure, uh, first gear would be too short. Can't pass him even though I got a really good start. Got some space, that's nice. Space to think. Space to work with. And, uh, we'll try to follow those uh, keys I had for myself at the start to uh, make sure I'm not taking entry too hard and uh, not spin it out on exit. Keep my mind uh, focused on the set of goals. I think that'll serve me in the long run. We got Kevin Harvick back there looking at me. He's looking at me funny. I'll have to watch out if he tries to zoom past me. Oops. I almost got on it too hard there. Better make sure I'm not uh, 
over accelerating the exit either because that started feeling pretty light there for a second don't want that haven't seen any dead cars yet but see some uh, lappers oh that felt light got loose Lightning and McQueen going for the pass almost. They almost looked like they took each other out. They're racing pretty close. I have to keep an eye on that too. I gotta keep an eye on everything. How many eyes do I need? Someone rejoining in front. Oh, they're coming out of the pits. And we got some guys that have been in wreck. Sure looks like. I guess it cleared up before we got there and they just took their quick repair. We got a pass for the lead. I'm not up there to try to take advantage, but I don't think I want to be anyway. So I'm just trying to be smooth at the moment. Of course, this track, smooth is pretty difficult, given that it's got the consistency of a... Uh, uh -oh, car stopped up high. What's happening? Okay, they're gone. It's got the consistency of a shard of broken glass, so. I wonder if you can even he hear my wheel <laughs> jostling on my mic. It's, it might be close enough. But, uh, I mean, you can feel the bumps. And, uh, they scanned this place, so they know that's what it's gonna be like. Lots of bumps. We got lots of distance behind all of a sudden. They must have made a mistake back there. Because we got two seconds behind now. Last time I looked, it was about one, so. Holding P3 at the moment. Trying to be easy on that throttle. I always feel like I overdrove, overdrive three and four. And I do a little bit better in one two. I don't know why that is. I don't know if there's any slight differences going on between the two. It's uh, it's all right. Haven't had to dodge anyone yet. That's good. And I haven't had to be the car that others are dodging either, which is also good. I worked up a couple times in practice. Granted, I was pushing really hard, because I'm trying to see uh, ways to be faster, but there were a couple times in practice where it snapped loose and I got uh, turned around. So uh, it's possible. I gotta watch out for it. Especially if I kind of exit low right there, that'll be a way the, that it gets loose. So gotta watch out for that. That doesn't seem very rubbered in. I watched uh, Nick Nieben's video. He was talking about how uh, the rubbered in track will make the tires wear less. And compared to what uh, his track looked like in his video, it looked like the track was more rubbered in. I don't know if uh, maybe it's just my graphic settings or maybe I'm just misremembering. But it sure looked like the bottom part of the track was a little darker in his video. Maybe our tires are going to be wearing a little more. I don't know. Turns three and four it looks a little darker. That's more what I was expecting. One and two, not so much. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe, maybe me. I'm not the only one overdriving three and four. And more rubbers we had picked up over there. So I got that short track zen going. Just hit my marks. I say as I go wide. Ooh, and almost accelerate too hard. Let me be careful. Is that number 15 out of 15? I remember seeing his name. Watch out, as he's uh, presumably the least experienced on the field. So hopefully he'll uh, give us room to pass, but if not, we'll have to make our way around. Too 
bad. He didn't really give us any room at all, which was kind of disappointing because now we've been slowed down a little bit. But uh, we made it by. I feel like as a lap car, you should it would be courteous to take the high line and just let someone get by you real quick. But uh, that's fine. We managed it. And uh, hey, it's much better than them uh, being horizontal to us while we're approaching. So if we uh, just keep keep up here, keep these laps consistent, these two ahead of us could very well get into each other or something. Start fart, farting, start farting real hard. Start fighting real hard is what I'm trying to say. Start farting real hard, are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> they could start fighting and tearing their tires off. Ooh, I got loose. And uh, maybe we'll start catching them. Because uh, we're not even halfway through this thing. I'm telling you, this is a longer race than usual from Arca, it feels like. So, that's actually surprising to me. It's the first time I've really looked at it. I thought uh, we'd be a little further than that, so maybe I'll save tires even more. Take it even easier. Because that could be our win condition. So those guys are fighting pretty hard. I don't think we're in a bad position here. Of course, I could be, uh, it could be that I've been overdriving it this whole time, <laughs> and I just think I'm doing a good job. That has happened before. It's, uh, it's hard to do. Hard to save tires. Not an easy task. That's why uh, the best guys are always really good at it. Cause that's, uh, that's how you win the war. You might win the battle. You know, get a pole time or something. But it's all about winning, winning the war, and that is 60 laps, or however many you're going for. A little loose on entry there. I was curious. I've got my brake bias all the way back. That's not what I like to see. But, uh, we're good. I don't even think that hurt us that much. I'm still able to take a pretty decent line. Got people leaving, so. Less chance for uh, debris on the track. <laughs> and uh, we're still gaining from P4. So I'm feeling good. Looks like Lightning McQueen up there. Maybe is getting a little uh, loose on exit. He might have uh, been harsh on his rears. That might help us in the end, too. Because I've been trying to be... Uh, Cautious with my rear tires as well. I think consistency is going to be important for us. Long race with some severe tire wear. Consistency is going to be important. But uh, if I get this uh, P3 still. I'm not uh, going to be upset either. All the more reason not to push it too hard and wreck myself or something. But uh, number one looks like they've run away a little bit. They got away from Lightning McQueen and uh, subsequently myself as well. Fuel looks good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, crew chief. Fuel looks good. That's good because I uh, don't think we wanted to pit in this race. <laughs> It's being a little tight. I have to adjust my braking a little bit. Just now halfway. My hands are sore. Short, short track racing will do that to you. Especially when it's so bumpy. I'm fighting the wheels even more than usual. Uh, we got this four in front of us, which might be a problem. Because he doesn't seem to have bad pace. He looks like he just wrecked or got wrecked. So he's going to be harder to pass if he doesn't just make it easy on us. So that might be a problem if we even reach him. Which I'm not so sure we will. He looks like he's hitting some good laps. And, uh, I think i got to back up my corners a little bit. Whoop! And yeah, not spin. We got 
tons of time behind us, so I'm not worrying about that. Now, if that four did wreck himself initially, I'm gonna have to ask him nicely not to do it in front of me, you know. I wonder if he's gonna try to pass P2 if he reaches him. That could be uh, an opening for us. Hope he doesn't, because that would uh, kind of be a uncool thing to do to the guy in front of us. But uh, if it does happen, maybe uh, we could benefit. Kind of taking more of a low line on exit now. I think that might be better with uh, where we are in the race at this point. Seems to be working fine. I think we're catching Lightning McQueen. Kerchayo. <laughs> Cars 8. Nashville Fairgrounds. Ooh, yeah, look at that. He's uh, having trouble with his rear tires. That's what I was kind of saying before. It looked like he was getting on it hard and maybe getting loose. It's only going to get worse for him, I think. So maybe he won't be able to get that exit speed. Four car. I asked nicely for you not to wreck in front of me. I feel my uh, rear tire is getting kind of hot, too. Manage that as well, because uh, just like uh, dirt road race I did recently, it's not gonna make you go forward too much if uh, your tires are just spinning in place. So you don't want to just uh, continue burning them off if they're spinning. Looks like he's fighting to keep uh, his distance in front of me. Oh uh, yeah, look how sideways he's getting. That's only going to make it worse every time he does it. Four cars let this by. Thank you, number four. Give him a thank you. You got it. Because uh, he doesn't have to do that, but it's a very courteous move. Very clearly made it obvious, and uh, it's going to help us, I think. Fighting him was not going to be, uh, <laughs> not going to help us try to catch pizza. Got to get back in my rhythm. Talking to the guy kind of got me off a little bit. Got to get back into focus. Make sure we're, uh, getting our marks. It's tricky too because uh, the tighter the car gets, the more you want to put more wheel into it to uh, get it to turn, but that means you could easily end up spinning off of the corner too. It could make that easier. What is this 15 doing? He's locking up the brakes. That's a scary sight for the two car in front of him. And it's going to be scary for us too because we have to get by him too. Keeping my eye on that orange. I think we passed him already, didn't we? And he didn't really give us much room, so. Doesn't really back out for us. And he's racing us like he's on the same lap, which is uh, much appreciated. We get loose because we had to take the corner low. So. Oh well. Ooh, two. Very loose. I think we can catch him. I think he's uh, put himself in a bad spot. His tires are really suffering. So I'm going to be easy on that gas pedal so I don't end up like him. And then maybe we can find our way past. What are they? Yeah, that We're here. When you're here, your family. Uh, You've just done it, 20.6. This 11's holding them up a little bit too. 
He's gonna hit me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think that hurt me more than it hurt the two. So, no dodging Rex, but dodging some lap cars for sure. Uh, it's gonna be hard, because we're not uh, feeling the best either, but I think we're feeling better than he is, at least. It looks like he's been uh, managing a little better. Maybe if we put the pressure on him, though, he'll feel like he needs to step on it harder. Look like at that. Yep. This is when uh, pressure can really get to a person whenever their tires are not uh, willing to do what they feel like they need to do. He's going to really have to drive the wheels off of it. Try to stay in front of me, I think. So hopefully he doesn't spin it in front of us either. That would also be not great. But this pass is going to be hard. Smooth, easy does it. I think that's how we get past, past them. Oh, I was nervous because I don't want to run into him either. Oh. I just thought maybe we want to. Hmm. Man, I just cannot get the run on him. figure out how to get past him. Oh, no, I'm pushing too hard. trying real hard. We almost came off the desk. <laughs> oh well, P3. We got a, an exciting finish. Oof. My, my wheel is literally off the desk halfway. <laughs> Wish I could connect it a little better. Hold on a second, let me probably smash my finger. Ow. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, I just, uh, the tires weren't cooperating enough for me to make that pass, but, uh, we gave it the best shot we could. Got by, uh, got to the side of him a couple times, but, uh, he did a good job. He knew not to, uh, overdrive it. Spin himself out. He, uh, did enough managing to prevent himself from losing it. I really wanted to get that pass, but, uh, well, at least I didn't wreck the two of us trying to get it done. 
Yeah, I see me uh, trying to enter a little higher a time or two, see if I could get the run off, but uh, nah. Just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, I think both of our cars were super loose at this point. See, we're bo basically sliding through the corners, the both of us. But, uh, yeah, no. He was getting the better runoff on the higher side, and he was able to keep it from uh, spinning the tires too much, so. We were there, but we couldn't get, uh, couldn't get around. Oh, well. Let's, uh, see what crashes we had out there. Which, uh... Not a bad race at all. I feel like we didn't have to dodge anyone too bad or anything. Let me turn that down. Didn't have to dodge out of the way. <laughs> so, well, we had a time or two that was scary, but not quite the wreckfest I was afraid of. Got a self span on the 7, unfortunately. I had nowhere to go. <clears throat> That's the uh, same thing. Let's 11 do one. Hitting the wall and exit. I remember it was a, I had a little scary moment trying to get by him as a lap car, I, I believe. Ooh, oh no, yep, there's that 11. We lost control. And the 9 again in trouble. That's a bummer. That one wasn't his fault. It's a different instance of the 11 hitting the wall. We got going. Kevin Harvick, how'd he end up doing? He's in the wall there, but uh, he ended up in sixth. He ended up where he was supposed to finish. I believe the same guy was in a race. Uh, I think he was in the truck race I did recently. Number 11 still having trouble. Can't get on the gas that hard, especially this late in the race, lap 58. We're driving on pudding at this point. <laughs> Those rear tires. Speaking of, let's see what they were. 78, 83. Not nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be. Obviously it was enough to feel, but uh, I thought they would be a lower number than that even. Is that it? Wow. Very clean for an ARCA race overall. I think it helps that uh, you get people spread out. And uh, five cars on the lead lap? I was one of them. Alright. And uh, we got our podium. <laughs> one, two, three. Guys up front finished. Could have had second. I gave it my best shot, but uh, they had the track position, and they held on to it. So that's going to be that. All right, fun race. P3. See you next time.